What's up everybody and welcome to the second video on the hunt first edition event and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to get five more badges um, in this event and first of all I just want to say that the uh, reward you get for the for collecting five badges which is like the necklace compass thing that thing doesn't even fit regular blocky avatar that thing like fits only are through avatars for some reason i could show it to you but the thing is it won't even fit me so yeah um anyways let's just get right into it so the first game we're gonna be playing is of course tower defense simulator and i'm gonna use the portal just to see how it is and that is actually a pretty cool transition into tds so yeah let's just get right into it Okay, so here we are in TDS. Defeat Deathwalker once to unlock the Hunt badge. Defeat Deathwalker on hard to unlock the Coral Block skin. And then after the Hunt quest, so here are the rewards. So you can get the Hunt badge, and then if you beat it again, you can get a, an egg, for which is actually a UGC item. And then if you beat it on hard mode, you can get the Coral Block skin. So let's just start this. Um, now, I'm pretty sure that this is gonna be like a multiplayer one i think uh so yeah let's just get into it and apparently it's gonna take you like 8 to 12 minutes to beat it so this is probably not gonna be that hard it's probably beginner friendly which is actually good you know for uh, for tds uh but the thing is that i don't really have that good of towers right now so this looks pretty interesting actually oh so they already give you the towers okay good or is that just my towers? Because I have Warden. I don't remember equipping Warden. Maybe they just give you these towers already. Okay, you know what? Let's just get right into it. So ready? Let's start the game. And let's start by placing Warden. Because why not? And I'm going to upgrade it for hidden detection. And I'm also going to go ahead and place a Soldier. Okay, this is actually a pretty cool one. I actually kind of like this, actually. This is pretty cool. Okay. This is like the old, you know, Roblox maps, which is, I think, you know, kind of nostalgic. If that, you know, if we're seeing it from that point of view. And then also place Pyromancer, because why not, you know, for burn time. I'm also going to place a Soldier, because why not. So I guess we just go through all these waves um, and get it, get the item. Also, uh, you can like push these blocks, which is pretty interesting. It's a little, like brick battle arena. I actually, I actually like this a lot. Look out! They're sending out bigger and better enemies. Oh god, core blocks warrior. We're already getting tough enemies. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna place trapper because I haven't really, you know, I got, I have the trapper tower, but I've never tested it before. So let's see how it is. He basically places like traps on your pad, doesn't he? Okay. So this is not that bad. Uh, okay, this is actually pretty easy. Yeah, this is, I told you guys, this is like beginner friendly. Okay, landmine, we got the landmine trapper. And I'm gonna go ahead and place a mini gunner because that's a good tower, you know. It's good we, if we get a stronger towers. And just go through the waves. I'm not sure how many waves there are. And what is that? Is there an, is that an egg? Yeah, I guess that's just, that's just theirs for no reason, I guess. Okay, max level trapper with bear traps, which is something very interesting. Uh, now, my personal tip would just be to spam mini gunners because those are some very good towers, unless there are flying towers, but I don't think so because there aren't, you know, any f fly detecting enemy uh, uh, towers that we have. What the heck, Red Cliff Trader? Oh, yeah, we gotta take care of this guy. We gotta place more mini gunners for that. Hanging in there, I have a f okay. Look alive! They are preparing for a major push. Oh god, we got a whole horde. Is that Deathwalker I see coming? I thought those were just myths. Oh, this is cool. I've never seen anything like it. Be ready, I am ready. Oh, and this is Corblog's Deathwalker. Oh, okay, so already we're on the boss fight. Uh, bro, this guy is kind of fast actually. Not gonna lie. Okay, come on, play spam mini gunners. So does he stun towers? I don't think he stun towers. Well, this is the weakest boss. Uh, maybe not, because maybe the weakest boss is probably Fei Yoshida from uh, the Metaverse Champions event. I'm not sure. Alright. Let me micro my towers 
real quick and place the minigunner here. Honestly, this should be pretty easy. Even if you don't play TDS and you're a beginner, you should do this no problem. And there we go. We did it. Alright, we completed the TDS quest just like that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy and we should get the badge now. Unless there is more, but I don't think there is more. Okay, there we go, nice. We took down Corblox Deathwalker. Egg Hunt 2024, I don't know why it's called that. Anyways, defeated Corblox Deathwalker, the hunt. And now, complete easy game mode three times using only the, star only the starter category. So, if you complete this quest, you should be getting the Scout Egg, which is like a UDC limited. It has like 200,000 copies or something like that. Uh, but honestly, I'm gonna do that later because you know the main purpose here right now is to complete this event first but with that being said let's move on to the next game welcome everybody to rb battles and that is right this game is also participating in the event and i was super excited for this one um anyways so first of all for this you need to do this in a public server it won't work in a private server and when you are in a public server you have to go to this guy and researcher yeah and talk to him he even has the hunt icon on top of him ah it's been a while since someone offered to help me with my research after the wormhole that appeared during rb battle season 2 dissipated it left behind some glass-like substance everywhere my partner and i were sampling it and i heard them step on one and when i turned around they were nowhere to be seen i'm not sure what happened to them but i have a feeling they're somewhere else now far away from here I've been holding on to one of the shards ever since. It's a reminder of them, you know? But I'm no battle. I'm just a researcher. I don't have the courage to break it. Do you have what it takes? Win one round or play three consecutive rounds and I'll give you the shard. Okay, so you heard him guys. So what you have to do now is you basically have to win a round or play three rounds in a row um, to progress. So that's the first part of this quest. Now, if you want, if you're gonna try and win rounds, I suggest you pick like the easy ones. Like for example, pick Mole Madness, cause you know it's not that like hard. It's just like, you hitting moles and stuff. So yeah, pick that, or pick Simulator Scrimmage. Or if you guys like obvious, you can even pick Lava Escape, cause that one's also pretty cool. Uh, Ball Boop. Yeah, I, I'm not a fan of this one, so yeah, I'll leave that to you guys. Okay, there we go. I managed to win a game. So now I don't have to play th th two more games. So now, once you either win a game or play three rounds, one after the other, uh, make sure to turn on AFK mode. That way you don't get teleported into a round. And then you can talk to the researcher guy again. A deal's a deal. Here's the shard as promised. Use it wisely. Once you break it, there's no knowing what danger lies beyond. Okay, so now we have the shard, and all we gotta do is literally just break it, click it, and break it. And then, we're gonna get teleported somewhere. The hunt begins, alright, here we go, so, this is it. I can't even understand what this guy is saying. I can't hear you. <laughs> yeah, I seriously don't know what he just said. Anyways, uh, this seems pretty cool actually. Okay. Good morning. Oh. It's boring's worth. It seems that you've been getting yourself into trouble again, haven't you? Ah, uh, no. During class, entering interdimensional time machines without asking permission. <laughs> Unfortunately for the both of us, that wasn't the first time you've been caught sleeping. Oh no! Now, considering your behavior as of late, I'm going to. 
Bro, I thought he was gonna ask us some math equations. <laughs> oh my gosh. What should we do? What, what are those, bro? What are those alien looking things? What did he say? Rap battle? Uh, rap battle? Rap. Okay, yeah, so this is a choice, yeah? So I heard that there are two endings, so you can either choose the rat ending or the rap ending. Uh, I'm gonna choose the rap battle, because why not? I think it's a rhythm, according to some of my friends. They said that uh, you have to do a, a little rhythm mini game, uh, which we're gonna do. And then, baby mode, beast mode. I want the full experience. I'm not good at the rhythm games. Uh, here's the thing. I'm not good at rhythm games, actually. I'm absol I absolutely suck. Mr. B in the house. This is a classroom exclusive. Life is Roblox. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, battler. Are you a time traveler? Stepping through dimensions? A mystery unraveler. Mr. B, the B man with a plan, teaching laws of physics, the gravity to take cans. We heard a slam, but this isn't poetry. It might as well be with the knowledge you're showing me. The way we do them, fool them, and school them. My measurements show we can metrically rule them. My bow tie flashy, my lessons are classy. I might speak slow, but the others can't pass me. But with science and math thrown in, those cheeseheads got a masterclass on how we win. Hey, Bauer, are you a time traveler? Stepping through dimensions, a mystery unraveler. Hey, Bauer, you're a rat teller. Okay, I'm doing good. Hey, Bowler, weren't you cheating when you battled her? Crossing dodge, bro. I'm not cheating. I let it slide, you avoided suspension because you're probably from a different dimension. Attention. Can you all hear that? That's the sound of a failing rat. Wow, dude. They have it left. Oh god, I'm Is I'm doing this? bad again. Oh my god, I lost my focus. Class dismissed. My bow tie flashy. My lessons are classy. I might speak slow, but the others can't pass me. But with science and math thrown in, those cheese heads got a master class on how we win. Hey, Bowler. Are you a time traveler? Uh -huh. Stepping through dimensions, a mystery unraveler. Hey, Bowler, you're a rat tower. Sending all the rats to detention like a cattle herd. Hey, all right. Bowler, I did good. Think better. Okay, good. I did it. Oh my god, bro, that song was actually pretty cool. I'm glad they made a whole song just for this event. Okay, so I guess I should get the badge. Okay, so I just checked my inventory and I already got the badge. So, uh, if you do one of the endings, you already get the badge. And you also get a badge for one, one of the endings. So now, let's do the rat ending. We did the rat battle, now let's do rat battle so i'm gonna throw it again and now we're gonna pick the rat battle one okay so now we're gonna choose rat battle and bro what where did he go uh oh oh okay so it's a wave we just so do we just shoot the rats yeah that's most likely what we do uh are you gonna help me boring's worth you better help me dude you better help me here okay let's is there anything we can do with these levers? Oh, yeah, we can. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Oh, okay, 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 okay. All right, okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, so... Well, this guy... No, oh, no, this is bad. Come on. Come on, die, 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 die. Oh, my God, oh, my God. What the heck is going on, dude? Die, die, oh, bro. I just want to press the lever, 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 lever. Dude, the lever... 
bro, flip the lever. Flip the lever. Oh my god, dude. What the heck? Okay, hold on. So you got three lives and there are four waves? Oh yeah, no, please. No, thank you, man. I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. This guy didn't even help me. Okay, so these guys, they drop these uh, cheese and stuff. Whatever the hell that is. Okay. Now, if you don't mind me, I'm just uh, gonna press that. Switch that. Okay, maybe that's already switched. Is that is that it? Did I do it? Do I have to do more? Hold on. Okay, so we did that. Okay, yeah, so just switch these levers and um then oh yeah i have that one as well okay and then that one and then that one over there oh god this is it's gonna be some one heck of a thing isn't it okay i got them all there we go all four waves completed dude that that took some time and we got the rat battle path as well so there you have it that's how you complete both endings in uh, rb battles hunt quest now there is a third one but it's a secret one i guess so i'm not even gonna bother with that i'm gonna make a separate tutorial on it after i'm done with the main event itself uh so yeah that's the rb battles let's move on to the next game welcome everybody to all star tower defense this is another easy one and for this first of all you have to equip any tower even if you equip one tower you're you'll be good enough but i'll just equip three just in case and then what you gotta do is you gotta head to the story area um so right over here head to the story portal and then you have to get in an elevator i'm just gonna get in this empty elevator and now you have to choose beginner saga map and select mission one so don't select mission two or four or anything just select stage one and then just start and there you go you can just begin and now you're gonna get teleported to the game so this is literally just like tower defense simulator except with anime characters uh that's literally it that's the only way i can explain this um anyways so with that being said you can also increase the game speed if you want but i mean like why do you really have to do that though because it could mess you up a bit uh anyway so i'm gonna start by placing i'm gonna start placing goku because why not and i just realized its name is goku you know copyright that is very interesting uh, anyways, yeah, so this is actually gonna be a pretty easy one um, And yeah, so what you have to do is um, Basically you have to wait till you get to wave 10 so the final wave on and on the final wave, right? There is going to be a golden bunny and All you have to do is just defeat that golden money to get the badge. That's all you have to do It's not even that hard like just go through these enemies and you that's all you have to do also there is an auto battle button, but no, I'm not gonna spend my 20 gems on it. You can also skip waves if you want, but like, I mean, that's just gonna, you know, make everything so crowded and stuff, so you don't really have to skip waves. But I'm just gonna do it because I'm careless and a bit of a fool, so I might as well just do it. <laughs> also, if you want, you can increase the game speed just for a bit so that the enemies can move faster and get in your, you know, tower's range. Uh, so that you don't have to wait like seven years for them to get to your towers okay here we are on the final wave and here is the Easter bunny with only with the gold bunny with only 45 health yeah my my tower is about to dominate this guy with just one attack there we go he's dead <laughs> he's dead <laughs> yeah that was that was super easy yeah if you have the 24k golden tower from the 24k golden event like a couple years ago then you're in a very good luck anyways you saw that i got the badge and there you have it that's all star tower defense welcome everybody to restaurant tycoon 2 and this is another super easy one you know most of these are actually pretty easy so for this all you have to do is uh well you have to serve your customers and instead of money well they will give you cash but they're also going to give you golden eggs so that's really all you have to do uh for the this restaurant tycoon game 
So I'm pretty sure you guys know how this game works, and I mean, you have to know. Okay, this is like one of the classic games. Uh, so they're going to order food, and of course, you just gotta go on ahead and cook them some food. So, uh, you gotta take their orders first. And there we go. So now that we have taken their orders, we can go ahead and start cooking some food. Okay, and as you guys saw that they just dropped so many of these eggs and you can just go ahead and collect them So they dropped like 13 eggs golden eggs, which is pretty cool So yeah, there we go. We did it and now we just gotta keep doing this until we get all a hundred Okay, here we go. So uh, That's it. We did it All 100 eggs and there you have it. That's it. I got the hunt badge in restaurant tycoon that's how simple it is you just gotta serve just a few customers like if you have a bigger restaurant you can get this very quickly but i have a very small one because i don't play this game that often so it took me uh, like maybe like 10 15 minutes but honestly this is pretty easy so let's move on to the final game welcome everybody to obby but you're on a bike and in this one you have to complete three of these quests for the hunt so the first quest is to beat world one in under 13 minutes which should be pretty easy so if you're you know far uh, into the world already just hit reset and you gotta reset your timer fully and now you're gonna be able to beat world ones so you have to beat world one in 13 minutes this shouldn't be that big of a problem it's pretty easy all right i finished world one in under 13 minutes so there we go and i should have it there we go it's completed now the next quest is to place top three in a race so for that we're gonna have to head to race world now in race world you're gonna have to go all the way through this until the end but people are already gonna reach the end so i'm just gonna wait till the race ends and another one begins okay so our new race has started in five four three two one uh, okay so here we go the new race has started and well basically this race you can see how fast you know your bike goes so you don't really have to worry about any speed or anything like that like you just gotta keep on moving ahead and you need to place top three so you need to play either first place second place or third place so yeah that's it right i finished third place finished the race in the third place as you guys can see and even in the chat it says candified came third in the race yeah this is kind of a tricky quest not tricky it's just super challenging and not in a hard way it's just it's so annoying anyways the last quest is to beat world 4 and for that you're gonna have to beat world 2 world 1 2 and 3 first so <laughs> yeah good luck with that all right there we go i have now officially completed world 4 just gotta walk up ahead and i should have completed world 4 and there we go world 4 completed and as well as we got the hunt award we completed all three quests bro this took me like two hours guys so hit the like button and subscribe if this helped you out again stay tuned for more videos with five more badges on each game until you know we get badges from every single game so with that being said i'll see you all in the next video peace